going on everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. I just filmed the grocery haul and figured, you know what? I should just take you guys through a full day of eating using those groceries we just got. Cause I'm sure questions will come. Jack, what are your actual meals? What are the macros? All that kind of stuff. So today we're whipping up our eggs, toast, and bell pepper. So first thing we need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and walk over here and put you guys on the tripod. Maybe, boom, there we go, yep. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and toast our bread. So we got the honey, or not honey wheat, yeah, honey wheat, nature's own, low calorie bread right here. And we're going four slices of bread and four eggs. Trust me, do not be afraid of bread. Uh, honestly, especially this low calorie stuff, it is fantastic. And for me, I'm a huge breakfast fan, so nothing beats eggs and toast in the morning. And obviously we don't wanna spend a ton of time in the kitchen in the morning, especially during the week. On the weekend, go ahead, make your pancakes, make your bacon, all that good stuff. During the week, keep it easy, keep it simple, toast down. Next part of the meal, probably the hardest, and it's not even that hard, so I like to keep things simple in the morning, as I mentioned, is making our eggs. So we have some of our butter right here. This is that Kerrygold Irish butter. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. I've been making this for so long, I know about what seven grams is. So I am using about seven grams of butter, or at least for the macros, that's when we use to calculate it. I know how far that goes. Um, once again, butter, if you're on a cut, I'd probably measure it pretty closely. Being on a bulk, or I would say maybe like a maintenance phase, not as important. Considering I do this every morning, I'm pretty good about eyeballing it. And then we have our happy eggs right here. These guys, I think they're happy eggs because they're like, uh, free range, small farm. I do think they honestly taste better, the brown eggs and the white eggs. But if you're on a budget, the white eggs are just as good. We're gonna be cracking four eggs in here. I like mine over easy, maybe over medium, a little bit. Um, so a little bit of a runny yolk, but not completely runny. So I'm gonna go ahead, crack four of those in. But once again, cook the eggs to your preference. If you wanna scramble them, scramble them. If you want to make an, I don't know, an omelet, sunny side up, over hard, whatever, just go ahead, do your thing. Make four eggs, and we'll put that on the toast. Also, on the eggs, we're gonna crack a little bit of our sea salt, a little bit of our black pepper, and then also some everything bagel seasoning. Trust me, do not knock this until you try it. It makes it just, I don't know, that much better. So we're gonna crack those on, cook these over easy, put them on the toast, and also we need to make our bell pepper, or not even make, cut our bell pepper. And the third and last thing we have to do is cut our bell pepper. And with the magic of YouTube, it happens in three, two, one. And just like that, we have our cut up bell peppers. Boom, simple, easy. Now let's put together the full meal. And here we have our final product, our four pieces of toast, our four eggs on top of there. We have our bell pepper on the side cut up, as well as some water on the side. I'm trying to at least have a liter of water first thing in the morning, every single morning on this building phase, on this bulk. We have, let's see, this macros with also seven grams of butter that the eggs were cooked in. Comes out to be 522 calories, 46 grams of carbs, 27 grams of fat, and then 35 grams of protein. Good way to start the day. Very simple, very easy. Once again, if you don't have time to cook in the morning, grab a protein shake, grab a piece of fruit, get out the door. But yeah, that's meal number one. I'll see you guys at the pre-workout meal, Proats. And here we are with meal number two, or our pre-workout meal as well. We have our proats right here. I've pretty much been having this almost for entire year straight. There was a short stint at the end of prep where I wasn't making this on a daily basis, but we're back. So this meal comes out to be also, I'm gonna add one Rice Krispie treat as a pre-workout snack. Like I, I'll eat right before I go into the gym. So that is included in these macros. Otherwise, it's gonna be two packets of our quick oats with a little bit of water. So go ahead, two packs of quick oats, Fill up um, one packet of that with water, add the water in, give it a quick mix, microwave for three minutes. Then you go ahead, take it out, add a little bit of almond milk, stir it up, add some protein powder. Typically I need to add a little bit more almond milk because I'm doing a scoop and a half of protein, or sorry, it's basically a scoop and a quarter of protein right now. Then we'll go ahead and add on our peanut butter. Right now I'm doing 20 grams of that natural peanut butter from Kroger. Then we'll chop up one banana on top. And as of course, as always, Maisie gets to lick the knife because there's a little bit of peanut butter left over. And yeah, once again, all of, that all of those ingredients for that meal here, plus the Rice Krispie Treat comes out to be 724 calories, 98 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat, and 49 grams of protein. Once again, most of that protein coming from the protein powder, and then lots of carbs to fuel our workouts now that we can do that again, which is awesome. But yeah, that is meal number two, our pre-workout meal. And I'll show you guys the pre-workout I'm using as far as, yeah, pre-workout caffeine before the workout as well. Now we're about to head to the gym, so we're gonna put together our pre-workout. First off, we're gonna have the Rice Krispie Treat, as I mentioned, 
from our pre-workout meal, the macros included in that guy. This I'll go ahead and store for later, and that was not part of the grocery haul. When I do buy Rice Krispie treats, they sell them in like bulk boxes, like 40. So when I buy one, it lasts me almost like two months because I'm not having one every single day since I don't work out every day. I just have them when I work out. Also, we have our pre-workout. Pro tip, if you can see, add ice in your pre-workout. That is, once again, probably the only way I will ever have pre-workout. It just makes it like a colder, refreshing drink. And we're going with the bulk pre-workout right here from Transparent Labs. This is their strawberry, oh, watermelon peach, uh, which is the refreshing one, um, one of their newer flavors as well. And I will say, it's nice to kind of change things up a little bit, because I, uh, yeah, I'll say it, I was abusing energy drinks um, on prep, and honestly, that's probably why my grocery bill was a little bit cheaper than I thought, because I'm not buying like Monsters and Rains every time I go to the grocery store now. Even Frescas and Diet Cokes have been trimmed down pretty much, not to not exist, I might have one a day, but basically my my beverage cost has been basically zero ever since prep ended. I even took like about a week and a half off of all caffeine, and now I like to have, this has 200 milligrams of caffeine with my workouts or my training days. So that's what we have in here. So yeah, pre-workout, 200 milligrams of caffeine, one Rice Krispie treat before we head to actually into the gym. And then today I'm actually filming for a uh, series, I guess you could call it. I'm gonna film basically all of my workouts that my new split is over the next six days. So it's currently day four, so I've filmed the last three days. I'll film today for a separate video of my chest and arms workout. So definitely stay tuned for that on the channel as far as me breaking down each and every single workout I'm now doing on my new split, as well as the exercises, the sets, the reps, the method behind the madness, that kind of thing. But yeah, without further ado, Pre-workout, Rice Krispie Treat, we'll head to the gym. I'll see you at the post-workout meal. Here we are with the post-workout meal. Figured I'd go ahead and skip over the boring stuff. All we did was chop up 400 grams of rusted potato, spray that with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, air fried at 400 degrees for 16 minutes. Burger-wise, we have eight ounces of 93.7 ground beef. Formed those into patties, threw them on the pan. Um, got a nice little char right there. That's the flavor, all those little brown spots. So that's looking good. Sometimes I'll put on maybe barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, something like that. But right now, this meal right here is more than enough. It tastes amazing in my opinion, coming off of prep. I love this meal. And we're gonna have 150 grams of our carrots. Super simple, easy vegetable, as well as one Honeycrisp apple. If you know, you know Honeycrisp are by far the best. This meal comes out to be 828 calories, 112 grams of carbs, only 19 grams of fat, and then 56 grams of protein. Keep things simple. I think that's one thing that I wanna stress moving forward is, yes, I'll have dinner, which you guys will see later on is a recipe I made, and I'll kind of be creative with dinner, but as far as breakfast, pre-workout, and post-workout, I like to keep things simple. Keep the decision fatigue down. I already know what I'm eating. I know that's gonna be um, beneficial for my workouts, my physique, my energy, all that kind of stuff, and in my opinion, it tastes really good. Keep it simple, keep it whole foods, and you'll be good to go and have some I guess, splurging around dinner time on the weekend, stuff like that. But Monday, keep it simple, keep it basic, and this is what we're having for our post-workout meal. I'll see you guys at dinner time. Here we have our fourth and final meal of the day, and this is something I actually made a couple days ago, and it's already out on the channel. It's a lasagna soup. So you go back, I think, probably two videos now to my high-protein soups recipe. I did a chicken tortellini soup, and then our lasagna soup. I will say, this has thickened up a little bit in the fridge. It was a little bit more soup-like when I filmed that video and it was first made. It has looked like it congealed and came basically deconstructed lasagna in the meantime. You guys are quick close up. Hope you guys can see that. I mean, smells absolutely delicious, looks amazing, and I know it's gonna taste great because I've already had this. I think this is my third day in a row now. But this meal, so when I made the recipe, once again, go check out that video, it has all the in ingredients, all the instructions, macros for the entire pot, as well as what I'm gonna call one sixth serving. I'm gonna estimate this, this is a little bit more than one sixth. I'm gonna say this is probably two, where I would say one and a half servings. So if you go back to that video, do one sixth as a serving, this is probably one and a half of those. So the macros for this meal, what I'm gonna call one and a half servings, is gonna be 739 calories, 59 grams of carbs, 22 grams of fat, and 66 grams of protein. The protein's obviously coming from a combination of the chicken stock, but mostly the ground turkey we put in there. And you can use ground beef, you can use some sort of like Italian sausage, whatever you want, pick your meat, but go check out that video for the full recipe. That's the macros there, so that's meal number four. And also we get some dessert. So this was not a part of the grocery haul, but this is something where I have a lot of, honestly, sweet treats left over from my, what we'll call, uh, my post-show binge or my cheat day, as far as ice cream. And this as was something I had in that video. I absolutely love these Oreo bars. They are so good and they're only 190 calories. And I'm basically telling myself, 
honestly, post prep, we're not now in the off season or quote unquote a bulking season. I'm gonna give myself a little dessert at the end of each day. Two to 300 calories, I wanna have some ice cream, an Oreo bar, actual Oreos, a bag of chips. I can have whatever I want at the end of the day within two to 300 calories, as long as I hit my protein goal and get two servings of fruits and vegetables. So we had the bell pepper with breakfast, we had the banana, we had the apple, and we had the carrots. So that's four servings or two servings of fruit and vegetables. And then we also have hit our protein goal. So I can have, basically have, quote unquote, I don't wanna say earn this, but I hit the bare minimums of my diet requirements so I can enjoy this. I think that's a lot, a lot, another big thing. I think a lot of people overanalyze stuff, but this Oreo bar real quick comes out to be 190 calories, 22 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and then one gram of protein. That brings our day total to 3,003 calories, 337 grams of carbs, 95 grams of fat, and 207 grams of protein, which blew my protein goal of the water. My protein goal right now is just 150 to 160. Obviously, if I go over, it's not a bad thing. It's just my minimum is 150. If I get to 200, 180, whatever it is, as long as I get at least 150, that's my goal each day. Typically, when I do eat more calories, my protein just kind of naturally creeps up because I do tend to pick a little bit more leaner, higher protein items. But yeah, this is the final meal. And I think this is a good example of not every or there isn't really a perfect diet out there. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I am constantly eating different things. There is no perfect diet, but there are a lot of consistent, I would say ribbons or threads throughout all my videos. There's always high protein options. There's always lean meats. There's always fruits and vegetables. There's always um, some sort of portion control, right? I'm not having five of these. I'm gonna have one or with our pasta here, I went with a lean ground turkey rather than a super high fatty sausage, stuff like that where I don't think there's a perfect diet. And I think people need to stop looking for the perfect diet and start looking for the what we'll call like the good guidelines to have, hitting your protein intake, making sure you got fruits and vegetables, making sure you get fiber, making sure you start your day off with some proteins and eat foods you enjoy. That's the most important thing. There is no perfect diet, just like there's no perfect workout, perfect exercise, perfect anything really. It's what works best for you in the situations you're put in. For me right now, that means eating the same three meals early in the day. I always have my eggs and toast. I always have my protes. I always have my burger and potatoes post-workout, but my dinner gets to change and so does my dessert. And it works perfectly for me right now, but not, but might not work perfectly for you. So the biggest thing is hopefully you guys take away some meal ideas and implement those into your life as there's no perfect diet. It's what works best for you while hitting some of those big guidelines. Like I said, protein, fiber, fruits, vegetables, micronutrients, minimizing processed food, that kind of stuff. But yeah, without further ado, I'll get off my pedestal. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.